kind of like a day in the life vlog at the moment because we can't leave the house right now we're back in stage three restrictions so I've got the kids home we're homeschooling I've got tons of cleaning to do the house is just turned upside down right now because we're all home on top of each other and it's just a mess <laughs> So this morning I woke up and got ready because I'm going to try and film another video today as well. Got the kids their breakfast and now I'm going to get myself something to eat and then we're going to get started on the schoolwork for today and see what that brings us. Indy's got a regular day. Ella has like a kind of more a relaxed day with some fun subjects. So I thought today is a good day to vlog because it won't take me as long to get her schoolwork done. Usually... We're working at it for a couple of hours and then they're kind of done for the day. So yeah, I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I'm actually starting something new today. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I know that for myself, I've just been reaching for all the wrong foods lately and I've kind of come to a place where I'm just over it. My gut health isn't great. I'm just feeling sluggish and tired and I don't want to feel that way anymore. So today I'm actually starting a detox for three weeks. So I'm going to be eating really clean, taking in my morning tea and my night tea and exercising and just wanting to start feeling more energized and awake and just feeling better about myself. So I'm going to bring you guys along on this journey with me and kind of let you know about my experience and see it and show you what I'm kind of eating and the aftermath, the aftermath, is that the right thing to say? What the effects are of it after, during, how I've been feeling before, which I kind of just told you, sluggish, tired, frumpy, just not myself. And I want to feel myself and have more energy to run around with my kids and do all the fun things and... Yeah, so I'm hoping this will get me to a really good place and then I'll just be able to continue along on my healthy eating journey. I'm really excited to be teaming up with Teamy again to do this tea tox. You know I love my Teamy products. I do their superfood blend, which is the green superfood blend. I put that in my smoothies and my shakes. And I love it so much. So now I'm getting on the T-Tox bandwagon. I've never done anything like this before. And yeah, I'm just really excited. Team, you have also been so generous as to give me a discount code for you guys, which is simply 25TRIBE, all in capitals, to receive 25% off your order, which is amazing. Okay, so my T-Tox just arrived. And this is what it looks like when it comes to you. It's the Detox Starter Pack. And it looks like this. So I picked out a gray tumbler. And then underneath here, you get your little detox calendar. You get your teamy skinny tea. 
And also your Teamy Colin, which is 15 tea bags. And so for the skinny tea, it says you place one teaspoon in a cup of near boiling water between three to five minutes. Use a strainer or tea infuser for clearer tea. And then with the Colin one, you use one tea bag every other night. Allow tea bag to steep between one to three minutes before drinking. And then you also get so I guess this is your strainer. It's got this cute little leafy thing on the end. And then you get this little guy here. But I'll show you as I'm going along when I know what I'm doing. Now because you only take the colon tea every other day, I'll just be having the skinny tea today. So that will be this morning. And I'm just going to be eating really clean with this as well. So I'm going to be reducing my red meat and eating lots of probably like fish and chicken and probably turkey just all things that are high in fats and sugars and salts and that sort of thing I'm going to be really reducing and trying to cut out if I can we'll see <laughs> this is going to be hard you guys but yeah I obviously want to do it right to get the best results and to show you guys how effective it can really be and the tea me tea tox is all natural so it's all good for you and healthy and it's basically just trying to stay on the right track with your diet and your exercise and that's going to all just really give you those best results lord knows i need a good cleanse after the amount of chocolate i've been putting away recently poor kaisy and his chocolate frogs they've all been going into my belly and of course you want to cut out your alcohol and drink tons and tons of water that is key in this i'm excited you guys i can't wait to try this out and see how i'm feeling after it's all done so i'm going to go and make some oats for breakfast and these are the ones that i love to eat and i eat nearly every day they're the uncle toby's big bowl creamy honey oats they're so yummy good morning my little love muffins what face are you making guys <laughs> who had good sleeps last night me did you is that so good, Cozy? Mm. Is it? Mm. And he's not spilling a drop on his bed. You're not spilling any? Like yesterday, a few days ago. Mm hmm. Man got a toy. But there's milk in there. He just dead. spilled some on his bed. Oh dear. But there's milk in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah. You already had Brecky? What did you have? Uh, yes. Inns was up super early, weren't you? At like mm. five o'clock? Just woke up for no reason. I could have just gone oh, back to sleep. But um, I didn't. You might have to have a little afternoon sleep. Yeah. Kai. The garbage truck is here. I can hear it. Can you hear it, Kaizy? Mm? The garbage truck again. It's being very noisy. We, we left the garbage truck and he went away. Yeah, he came before and now he came back again. Get the other bin. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. And we really put more marbles in for the garbage truck mm. to eat. Yeah, for him to eat. <laughs> He's hungry for some rubbish. So I just finished brekkie and got changed, and now I'm going to make my tea. And then I remembered that it's best to actually have your tea before your breakfast because it helps boost your metabolism naturally and suppresses your cravings and that sort of thing. So I've kind of done it backwards, but it'll be okay. I'll remember that for tomorrow. Um, so I've just boiled my kettle and I've got my little strainer doovie thing here. I'm gonna go ahead, open her up. Smells like normal tea. And I'm gonna pop in a teaspoon into my little strainer. And put the lid on. Like so. And then I'll just pop it straight into my tumbler. And I will fill it up. And I'm just going to let it bob around in here for between three to five minutes and then I'll 
take it out and drink my tea. This can be used between one to three times a day. And then I'll start my Colin tea tomorrow on day two and you take this one just before bed. So while I think of it, I'm gonna go ahead and mark off my day one like that this thing is so handy to have so you never lose track of where you're up to um, so I know that I've done my skinny for today and then tomorrow I'll be up to the skinny and the colon sounds delightful <laughs> all right it's been about four minutes so I'm gonna go and take this thing out now oh my gosh I am such a dill this thing here I'm assuming is what you sit this on Yes, <laughs> so that you can come back and reuse it and it catches all the little water drips. I'm assuming, who knows, what else could it be for? All right, tea tots time, baby. I'm so excited to try this out, can you tell? All right, moment of truth. Cheers, you guys. Mmm, it's good. It's nice. Just tastes like regular tea. So if you like regular tea, you'll like this. Probably not as strong. You could maybe leave it in a bit longer if you wanted it stronger. But I really like it. You can sweeten this up naturally with honey. Um, and I think there are a few other options as well. But I actually don't think it tastes bland. And it, I don't think it needs sweetening personally. But yeah, tastes nice. You guys will like it. So while I drink my tea, I'm going to go and round up Ella and we're going to start her schoolwork and get that finished up so she can just have the rest of the day to relax and play and just have fun. Right, Ella's homework is all done. Homework, schoolwork. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna whip up some lunch. It's now 1.30. I literally don't know where the day has gone. <sighs> the kids are running wild. It's just all happening today. So I think we're just gonna have some toasted sandwiches. We've got some um, fresh chicken and there's ham for the kids. So I'll probably just have chicken and a little bit of mustard sauce. Yeah, uh, I don't use regular bread. I don't use regular bread. <laughs> that sounded so bad. I use um, a bread called Fod Bread. Oh my gosh. One's playing the harmonica, one's running around. It's just craziness here. Um, yeah, so I use Fod Bread because I've had um, some gut issues for the past six or so months. So, um,. I can use that bread. I'll look it up and I'll put a definition on the screen anyway. Um, and that doesn't upset my tummy and give me pain. So I'm going to use that and just whip us all up some sandwiches and toasted sandwiches. And that will be our lunch done. I'm, where did I put my drink? Oh, here. So I'm about halfway through. It's really yummy. I'm enjoying it. And I'll finish that. I said I was going to have one at lunch, but I'm still trying to get through that. So, probably be till afternoon. Excuse me, guys. See, this is why I need to do this tea talks because I've not been doing anything and I'm exhausted, and that's not right. So, yeah, I'm going to go whip up our sangers and then start cleaning. Ugh.
for lunch, Mr. Kaisy. Kaisy's still in his jammies because he's just having a little pajama day, aren't you? Keep him warm. Can you tell everyone what's on your plate for lunch? What do you see? Apples and fruit. Apples and fruit. And what's this? Meat. Meat, that's right. And then what are you going to have when you finish? Yogurt. Yogurt, that's right, because that's your favourite. And next to yogurt, we're going to have a icy pole. An icy pole? I think it's a bit cold for an icy pole. Don't you think? Yes. Guys, <laughs> he's going down for his afternoon sleep, aren't you, buddy? Because you finished your lunch. Did you show your sticker? Where's your cool sticker? Whoa, baby. What is it? A tiger. Wow. Rawr. 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 So he still has an afternoon nap, usually about three hours. But I'm finding I kind of have to wake him up at the two, two and a half hour mark. Otherwise, he wakes up grumpy. I don't know. I don't know why. So we're going to pop you to bed. And then I'm going to start cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like cleaning? Clean. No, I'm too big. You're too big to clean? Yeah. Never too big to clean. Never. But you're big. I am big. Because I'm your mummy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm your mummy. Mummy? <laughs> Not mummy. Mummy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your money. <laughs> You're a snaggle puss. I'm your money. <laughs> right, Kazi's now in bed, so I'm going to get started on the cleaning. The first room I'm going to tackle is actually our movie room because it is atrocious, you guys. Check this out. This is not okay. There's no way I can come and sit in this room and enjoy myself got to get tidied right now so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll move out into the dining room and the living room the dining room the kids and I sit out there and work doing their schoolwork and my other job so we've got computers and things set up that will stay there but I just want to organize it a bit better so it's a nicer space to work in but first I'm gonna tackle this room because it's a nightmare why don't we say that it's too late for us now Why do we stay When I blame you for the things that weigh me down out into the movie room like this. Come and show what you've got on your head, buddy. Where did you get that from? A room. Did you go into Ella's room? Yeah. Come over here and show so we can see close up. Whoa, way back. Oh, you look pretty. I, so I, he's woken up, gone into I, Ella's room, put her hat on I and come out. I got a flower. You do have a flower on there. It's really pretty. You look cute. Are you a cutie tootie? Yeah. Okay, now that you've woken up, I can go ahead and vacuum this room now. Because yeah. I didn't want to vacuum to wake you up. No. No. So now I'm going to vacuum it all nice and clean for you, okay? Yeah. For you to go ahead and trash again.
the room is finally open, vacuum, tidy. So now I can finally relax in here in peace. But what I like to do next once I finish vacuuming is I like to go in with my room spray. This one's just from Dusk and I love it so much. And then I also go in with my Febreze fabric spray and this makes your couches smell delicious. So good, definitely a must. So I'm gonna go in and I just do, cause this is a pretty sizable room. I usually do a couple of sprays. Do one more for good luck. <laughs> and then I like to go over to the couch and the cushions and give them all a really good spray down. Okay, you guys, that is going to go ahead and conclude today's vlog. I'm just about to put on dinner. We're having this roast chicken, a boneless roasting chicken. It's just one of the Aldi ones that I love. This one is apricot and cranberry stuffing. It's really, really yummy. I'm just going to have that with roast veggies. If you'd like to see more Cook With Me videos, leave me a comment below and let me know because I'd be happy to do that for you. Just really easy but tasty dishes that kids will love. I'm also just on my second tea of the day and it's going down a treat. I'm going to try and do three today so I'll try and do one later in the evening as well. And be sure to go and check out the Teamy website and use my code 25TRIBE, all in capitals, to receive your discount. I love you all so very much. Please remember to like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Bye guys.